right. I'll go home. Forget it. it exactly. So uh, as we said, mentioned at the top of the show, it's our it's my last show here at Car Insight. The series will go on, uh, but it's my last show. So we will get early to our favorite part of the show, Disgrace of the Week. Miss Calhoun. A uh, decision just came down that Excel can bill its customers for the excess charges back in because of a storm in February 2021. Excel, which is suffering so much, is going to heap it on, tech, on consumers right now who are suffering. Eric. Well, for your last show, Dominic, I won't shock you with a surprise. I'll go back to a drum I've beaten <laughs> often. But um, the Democrats in this state and throughout this country who over the last 20 years had a decision to make of whether we want to pick up sides with underserved communities, largely black, largely brown, or whether we want to pick up side with the teachers union. And time and time again, they have chosen the teachers union. They've done it in this state again with the uh, lame, limp legislation they just passed about innovation schools. Uh, they prove the point over and over again. My favorite albums are the greatest hits albums. Penn. Um, so uh, I'm going to risk us getting struck by lightning, literally, on your last show. But Mother Nature, you got to give us a break. <laughs> I mean, it's dry. It's hot. The winds are blowing. Even airports are catching fire. Ski resorts are closing two weeks early. And all the snow melt is melting early. So it's just going to be an awful summer. Help your children out, please. When the locusts come, the address that's Penfield Tate, care of PBS 12, 2900 Well Street. <laughs> Natasha. Well, I'll take some pressure off him because that's going to be mine as well. I, I have these wonderful plants in, in my garage that every day I dutifully take out and then bring back in because we are flirting too close with that 40 degree temps for my comfort. But hopefully someday they will get in the ground and hopefully look nice all summer. <laughs> Time to say something nice about somebody. Patty? Well, we've taken a vote and clearly we cannot say anything nice about anyone other than you today, Dominic. <laughs> you have, I have worked through all the hosts on Colorado Inside yes, Out. Have. I can tell you, you have been such a pleasure to work with, and not just for all of us who you've always made co feel comfortable at the table, but for this city, and I hope Denver and Colorado appreciate the high level of civil discourse you have brought to topics around this state. Thank you. That was very, very kind, Patty. Thank you. Eric. Well, I mean, Patty said it well. I'll try to add my words, Dominic. It has been a joy to be part of the show with you. Viewers should know, even before you took the host chair, you were the formative influence in developing this show and in making the show it was. And as Patty said, a show that put civil discourse above everything else, where we don't, we might argue with each other, but we don't yell at each other and we don't argue over each other. Uh, the panelists, the four of us, and many other people who sit at this table, we owe you a debt of gratitude we can't repay. The station and the viewers of this program in this station owe you a debt of gratitude. I wore a green tie today, uh, deliberately in honor of new beginnings. It's a new beginning for you, yeah. and you're going to rock it, and I can't wait to see where you go. Thank you, Eric. Thank you. Penn. Um, ditto. Um, <laughs> it, you know, we talk about politics a lot around this table, obviously, and, and you've been a leader in making sure the discourse is civil. But I think what's important for people out there to know is to, to be a servant leader and to be a public servant, you don't have to be in elected office. You can do what Dominic has done over the years and just make sure there's a platform for different thoughts and points of view and opinions to be heard in a respectful and clear fashion so that you can form your own opinions. And that's what Dominic has brought to the table here. Thank you very much. You are going to be missed. Great success in whatever you do. Thank you, Ben. Natasha. Well, that's quite the roundup. I will, I will do my best to follow it up with. You have mentored so many people at this table. Yes, you have directed the conversation. You've helped make Colorado politics better. But for people like me, it's been an incredible opportunity to be able to be part of this conversation and be part of important discussions in the state. So thank you for me, but for, I'm sure, every panelist who has sat at that table. We, we do have a concern, though because you are so good at taking care of your panelists, making sure that we shine in our moments, um, but we could be a little prickly, and we're worried that you might get a little bored if we're not here to bother you every week. So, we just wanted to make sure you had something, something you could take care of, 
<laughs> something that could really, you know, just remind you of what it's like to deal with us every every week. What, so, uh, that, thank you, Dominic. Uh, thank you, Natasha. One of the, probably the only house plants that I won't be able to to hurt. So I, I am grateful. Uh, I um, I get a chance uh, to round up these say something nice as myself, and uh, I take advantage. You can see why I always describe myself as a very very lucky person when you hear from uh, these wonderful people and the kind things they said. I want to start with my friend Natasha. Uh, we, uh, I was I had a chance to meet Natasha at a meeting years ago that the station had with, uh, at that point, an editor of 5280, Maximilian Potter, and he brought along his colleague, Natasha Gardner. And there's a potential partnership we were going to do, and that sounded great, but my, my first inclination to leave that meeting was, or if Natasha's available on Fridays, because that would be pretty cool. That other partnership was great. That never came to be, but fortunately, we were able to get Natasha. And I've also adored and appreciate so much to be the fellow optimist at the table. I always felt so, so like, things can be better, and I can always count on Natasha to be right there with me. And you have always so eloquently considered the other voices in our community and making sure that all the people impacted by the issues we talk about were considered. And I know all of our viewers have been so appreciative, almost as much as I have with you being here. Um, I also want to say something nice about our friend, uh, Mr. Tate, the, that I would actually, that you would tell me that we'd have the good fortune of getting a former lawmaker of Penfield Tate's uh, magnitude on this program would have told you we're crazy. It's Colorado Inside Out. We're not going to be able to get land Penfield Tate. Yet we did. And I, I was so lucky. Uh, we are so lucky to have this because our viewers have been able to see the statesman that we hope all lawmakers would will become someday. And you have been the model of how we can stay true to our views and yet communicate them with respect. And we can argue, but we can walk away as, as good people. And if, if even just a small percentage of society could catch that model and learn from it, Penn, we would live in a better place. And I'm grateful for, for your time here. Now, I've often told people that uh, when I grew up, I want to be Eric Sondman because uh, as our time here at uh, my time here at PBS 12, Eric Sondman is the source for political coverage. And there was a point in time with both the Rocky and the Post that, well, the only person they're contacting is Eric. So uh, is there anybody else who knows politics in Colorado? Uh, they finally had to find some more people, but it was always Eric that was a go to. You also need to know that he is uh, my wingman and has been grateful. I've been grateful for that because in 2008, um, we, I found out very quickly that I was suddenly going to be the host of our election debate series. I found out on Friday and it was Labor Day weekend. I called Eric Monday, Labor Day night, to say, hey, um, never hosted a debate before, and I would really like somebody there with me to make sure we're actually asking halfway decent questions. Would you be available? He was in the middle of a trip taking his, you were taking your daughter to college, right? right? And said, yes, how can I help? And so began in 2008, uh, one of the wonderful partnerships that we've had, Eric and I taking on some crazy debates, including like we referenced earlier, that wonderful photo of Dan Mays and uh, John Hickenlooper and Tom Tancredo. That was one of my favorites, Eric. Thank you for always being my, my loyal wingman. And Scarecrow, I think I'm gonna miss you most of all. <laughs> um, I love telling people that I have met uh, the two coolest women in the entire world. I married one of them, my wife Paula, and the other one I get to hang out with every Friday at noon in Patty Calhoun. And I've always appreciated that Peter Boyles came up with the very best way to describe Patty and her impact. She is the heart and soul of Colorado Inside Out. And she's been so supportive of me. Um, I, I'm not sure I can ever really quantify that. I, I'll struggle through it at some point, but I don't think I really communicate it here. But I'll, I'll, I can sum it up this way, as I've, I've told our producers and I told L. Neff, I go, we'll send out the script every Thursday, send it out to the crew, uh, the panel, and inevitably they might like it and we won't get any comments, but there might be some debate. We should cover this topic or that should move or what about this one? And I always told L, I said, what you do is wait. They might find a consensus. But if they don't on Friday morning, find out what Patty wants to do, just go with that. That has been a secret of our success for uh, 30 years now here on the show. Patty, thank you. Um, one last thank you is to you, our audience. I am uh, so grateful that you give us the honor to be in your homes, to share your lives with us every week. I love hearing from all of you, whether you like what David has said or don't like what David has said or uh, enjoy what we've done here or have some suggestions for us. All of those are taken to the heart and I couldn't be more grateful. Uh, time is one of the most precious, if not the most precious commodity we have. And the fact that you would share some of that with us 
and with me uh, is an honor I will not soon forget. So um, please know how much it is appreciated in my time here with you watching us. Uh, I know I've gone long. I owe an, an apology to our mass control operators, which will somehow balance the clock, but uh, they, they are used to that and probably saw this one coming. So I will close with this uh, to all of our audience. Uh, the lines from one of my favorite songs. We will meet again. I don't know where, I don't know when, but we will meet again some sunny day. That is all the time we have this episode of Colorado Inside Out. For everybody here at KBDI, Colorado Public Television, PBS Channel 12, I'm Dominic DeZutti. Thank you so much for watching.